making us a new manager in Barcelona. So we're going to be controlling him as a manager. But also, we're going to put icons into the game and control him as a player at the same time. Barcelona playthrough with Xavi as both a manager and player of the team. Let's get things started by taking our boy Xavi and throwing him straight away on FC Barcelona. Hey right, boys, this is going to be a three season playthrough with Barca. It's our job to take over this team. Hopefully by the end of this video, we're going to get them back to Champions League glory. Right, here we go, boys, into the career mode. Different video than what you're used to. So if you guys like videos like this, drop a thumbs up. If we can hit 20,000 likes on today's video, we'll continue this series and control other managers as players at the same time. If you guys just subscribed as well, it'd be uh, just awesome if you guys could just hit that subscribe button and get me to a million subscribers. Yeah, right. The Barcelona team with Xavi all the way down here. Let's go. Okay, so 90 rated Xavi, I guess is going to replace Pedri. Three seasons to rebuild this team. Also, you will notice right here, no financial takeover. This is going to be a true challenge. Normally, you guys are used to me just giving teams loads of money. Not today. All right, year one, who do we want to buy? Who do we want to sell? Low key. I think the main thing we need to do with this team is bring in a striker with some potential because right now i'm sorry aguero is just not gonna cut it all right we're looking at a striker who's young i'd love holland i'd love mbappe they're just not gonna be realistic for this one i am personally thinking either jonathan david or i think isaac would be a good one I always go for everyone's favorite adiemi but he's just way over signed let's go boys year one it is going to be alexander isaac i don't know i feel like he fits barca this will be a really good one too because he isn't gonna cost too much i'm gonna say 50 million should be a pretty reasonable offer 64. that's still gonna leave us room to be able to sign at least potentially one more player 55 mil isaac they want 64. all right you know what we can do that all right up next i'm going through enlisting players braithwaite you gotta go a bunch of these players just listing forgot about this man adding chavi to the game means all other icons have been added. Cool though for this video is that we will not be able to sign other icons, but other teams will be able to sign them. So we got to make sure our team is really good. All right, I really want to bring in a center back for our next signing, which means I am going to let PK go. So should note, if you're here for uh, realistic transfer signings, leave now because I hate realistic transfer signings. All right, I like this. We are going to get rid of Oscar. He is gone. I am going to get rid of Coutinho as well. Oh, and a chance for Fernando. He's gone too. Literally just unloading all of these like average 80 rated players. All right, so only Neto and PK ended up selling. It's roughly 93 million for center back. Right, here we go. The Lick Kuande. What are we going for here, boys? Look, ooh, I, yeah, let's go for him. But uh, wait, first, if we can afford him, I'm actually going to take Kwande. If we can afford him, though, I think it's going to be close. One of the best young center backs in the game, man, would be the future of Barcelona if we can get him in. Where I'm going to go, 70 million for Kwande. Have I just overpaid? Uh -oh. I'm the king of overpaying for players in career mode. Here's the thing, though, man. The reason for that is I'm so used to just having unlimited money that I always just, just like overpay for someone. Sure, like do it. Yeah, now that I actually have to worry about my money, I need to be smart. I think that is probably going to be it for the signings this year. I'd right, switch into the 4-3-3 flat because I'd rather start Pedri over Busquets. And yes, this is most likely going to be the starting 11. Right, not super high expectations in year one, but let's see how we do. Three seasons to win the Champions League. Will it be enough? Here we go, La Liga. In year one, we start with an L. And an L in the Copa de España. And an L in the Champions League. All right, those signings definitely were not enough. Season one, though, was more about sort of growing players. And they have def even Xavi grew, bro. 91 De Jong, 85 Pedri, Ansu Fati, 79. What about Isaac, bro? 84 Isaac. The pie out of position still grew 87. I'm happy. Even though we didn't win in trophies, this is a long-term challenge, man. If we don't win anything in year one, it's fine. Pie actually led the team in goals. That's actually kind of crazy. Xavi, 5 and 16, pretty good. Here we go, boys. Season two. I'm really hoping we got a massive transfer budget. I'm not going to lie. I am very tempted to bring Messi back. It's just we have so many other like good young players right now. Oh my God. Yep. The transfer budget uh, has gone up a little. Dude, it's so tempting to bring him back. All right. I want to go for a right back this year. And I mean, low key, a right winger as well. My highest potential right winger is Fran Torres, Chiesa. I would actually not mind a Chiesa bringing him in. Mount Anthony, maybe we're gonna have a look at our boy Chiesa. If he's 87 plus, I'll go for him. He's only 84, dude. He hasn't grown at all. That's a massive red flag. All right, uh, 
am I going to do this? Mo Salah, 30 years old. He's already dropping an overall too, man. I want someone who's going to go up an overall, not down. Fran Torres, maybe. Damn, bro. I wanted these, like, these guys aren't even higher than Dembele. How about this? Let's start with the position that I want to upgrade first. Hakimi. Get a nice banging right back in for... <sighs> I'm hoping under 100 million. We've got 90 and they want 112. Figured as much. 100 and 10,000. Exactly on the nose for Hakimi. Dude. PSG no man, that, like... We're like in the Champions League, one of their main competitors. So they just don't want to give him up for free. 105. Listen, I'm sorry, Dest. I love you, buddy. But uh, you're only 78 rated and you're not really growing too quick. Hakimi is in, ready to go. We still got 151 mil for a massive right winger. All right. You know what? It's a Chavi rebuild playthrough. F it. Another PSG player. I'm just going to do it, bro. Messi, 35. He's still 92 overall. And he's only going to cost 64 mil. I told you, if you want realistic signings, well, there actually were rumors that Messi could return with Xavi under the rain. Would it happen? Probably not. Messi back to Barcelona confirmed. Crazy thing about this, how much money does it leave it? Like, we're going to be able to sign another player. 85 mil. Jeez, bro. Dembele will be our super sub. Yes, sir. I want to pull off just the biggest transfer of all time right here. Listen, this probably will not be possible. But what if I can get Ruben Diaz too? So I'm going to have to offer literally everything that I own here. Plus a player. This is probably not going to work. Yeah, bro. 119 million. I try to offer Clement Lengle. It have to be it have to be Dembele, honestly. Ah. You know, we have Fati. So what if they'll do Dembele and yeah, 90 mil plus Dembele, please. I don't want Dembele. Right, I tried, but it's not happening. I'd be able to settle for like Merrick Laporte. Boom tits. What do you mean by that? In 90 million? Yes, they've accepted. An unbelievable transfer window has left us with this squad. And I forgot to put Laporte in. Um, yeah, has left us with, hold up, this squad. Hey, yo, before we sim this season, I'm going to scout out the competition. Have Atletico Madrid signed any icons? I'm really hoping the answer. Oh, wait, I was like, where are all the players at? I was searching just center backs. All right, have they signed any? I, I think we're good. No icons? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think we're chilling. How about Real Madrid? Have you guys signed? Please say no. No, no, no. We're chill. Oh, no. They've got Bobby Moore. See, this is what I mean, man. Uh, and Stoichkov. Right. I'm confident that we could even win something this year. All right. This is the season. Even if we don't do it here, we got one season left. It all starts with La Liga. Let's go. We're just skipping to the top three. Come on. Oh, my God. Madrid four. Real Sociedad three. And we've won it. Oh, it's side on points, but goal differential wins it for us. Barcelona's arrival, Espanol wins Copa de España. Come on, boys. I got a good feeling about this one. Let's go. Wait, do we? Yes. Oh, my God. Dortmund on pens. Leicester 5-3. Here it is. The final is against City. Let's go, boys. Barcelona. Oh, my God. It only took us two seasons to do it. That means next year we have to go for the treble or bust. Unreal. Let's see this team, man. Depay 90. Isaac Messi drops. Doesn't matter that Messi dropped. The rest of this team is insane. Kuande minus one. Yo, he must have got injured, man. Wow. Crazy. Let's go, dude. It only took us two seasons to win it. That's actually quite mad. Depay, Loki has been carrying this team. All right, dude. I already feel like we've won this video, honestly. 300 million. That isn't even a fair transfer budget for other teams. Let's make this last season fun. I'm going to allow us to sign icons for the final season. So you know what we're going to do, boys? We're going to go right here to search players. Okay. We're going to go to the ones that are still free agents. Yes, bro. Hey, like, I'm going to just shortlist. I'm going to just shortlist all the ones that are still free agents. Here we go. A few free agents and then a few non-free agents. It's honestly a sin that this man has not been signed yet. It's actually crazy. R9 Ronaldo is still a free agent. I don't know why the game is just so dumb where clubs do not want to sign free agents. Wait, this is going to be too OP because you don't have to even pay a transfer fee for free agents. So we, we might have to limit ourselves here on how many we can sign. All right, I'm going to get both Ronaldos. Why not? Just so we can have Ronaldo, Ronaldo, and Messi on the same club. It's 67 mil for CR7. Right, we are going to limit ourselves. Let's go for three more icon free agent signings. These may not be the best, but I'm going to take Pele, Baresi, and Maldini. Maldini, this is his left back version. 
This is the only one that I have to pay like an actual transfer fee for. For some reason, Chelsea signed him. Like, it's weird. Clubs will sign some free agents and uh, others like R9 Ronaldo are to stay free agents forever. Okay, right. We got Pele in as well and Bracey. Those are, that's, this is the last signing of the entire video. All right, this is, this is gonna be low-key unfair, but I, I did say that this season was the final season. We have to go for the treble. This is probably the only way we can win it. So this looks good for the starting 11, bro. This is low-key just not fair. This is a mental team. You guys know the drill development plans. We sim the season. And we go for all three. For the video, boys, let's go. Step one, we win La Liga and we go from there. Let's go. Perfect. Dude, I swear, winning the treble literally is impossible in this game. We lost in the round of 32. I was this uh, like literally our worst, one of our worst seasons. Liverpool beats us. That's what happens when every other club has icons. He took over Xavi as a manager and a player. He got injured in the final season. Absolutely legendary video today, boys. I got a video YouTube recommends. See you guys right here and let me know if you want a part two. What manager should we play as a player and a manager next time?